Hello in this tutorial, we will create a unique material using the two-sided feature in material and nodes related to the two-sided feature. First, create a material. Set the blend mode to masked to use the opacity masked feature and check the two-sided feature. Create a two-sided sign node related to the two-sided feature. Then, press L on your keyboard and click to create alert node. Connect the two-sided sign node to the alpha pin of the lerp node and the lerp node to the base color to see that the front and back are divided into black and white. Use a saturate node to fix the alpha value of the lerp node to a range value between 0 and 1, preventing the front faces from overlapping colors or textures. Next, create two texture sample nodes and set your desired textures. Here we will use the target icon spawn texture and logo texture from the engine content. Connect the texture sample nodes to the lerp node. Once connected, you can see that the back texture is reversed on both sides. We will restore this to its original state. Create a text board node. Then, create a breakout float to component node. Connect it and separate the text board node into red and green channels. To reverse the texture horizontally, create a 1 minus node and connect it to the red channel. To recombine the separated channels and create coordinates, create a make float to node and connect it as shown in the video. Preview the text board node and make float to node to see that the UVs are horizontally flipped. Now connect the make float to node to the UV pin of the texture sample node, connect it to the back face to flip the texture horizontally. Next, let's add color to the texture. Create two multiple nodes and two constant three vector nodes. Set your desired color in the constant three vector nodes and connect them to the texture sample nodes. You can create a constant three vector node by pressing three on your keyboard. Next, create a static switch parameter node to connect as shown in the video and set a parameter to select whether to use the texture or just the color inside the box. Then, create a bounding box-based node to set the entire area of the object to the coordinate values of the box area. Create a constant 3-vector node and set the B value to 1 in the constant 3-vector node as shown in the video to configure the Z value. Connect the bounding box-based node and the constant 3-vector node to the dot product node to create a gradient where the bottom part becomes black. Then, use a 1- node to invert the gradient vertically. Next, create a subtract node and a parameter node. Connect them to the 1- node and set a value in the parameter node to lower the black part of the box. You can create a parameter node by pressing S on your keyboard. Create a power node, set the value to 0, and connect it to the subtract node to remove the box gradient and divide it into a single color for the top face and the remaining faces. Copy the switch parameter node set in base color and change the name so the settings do not overlap. Create a constant node with a value of 1, connect the nodes as shown in the video, and connect the switch parameter node to the opacity mask so that the inside of the box can be seen or hidden. You can create a constant node by pressing 1 on your keyboard. Now create two material instances, one for the box and one for the plane. Set all the values of the switch parameter for the box material instance to true. Finally, place cube mesh and plane mesh in the level from the place actor and apply the created material instances to their respective meshes and check if the material is displayed correctly.